every time you know you have these goals in life and if one goal is here the next one is here the next one is there you know and um, no matter how fast in my case no matter how fast I run I always want to do better so I'm kind of competing with myself but not really if that makes sense um, you're always hungry for more you know you get something you want more of something you do do something else you like you want to do more of it you know um, it's just like uh, it's just like a drug I can't stop doing it So I grew up playing soccer and riding my bike all day long, every day. Um, then I got involved in track uh, early into elementary school. Um, they just invited me to this track meet and I won that. And um, they said, hey, you want to train? I said, sure, okay. So since then I've been doing it. Um, I know a guy who went to University of Nebraska, Lincoln, and here in hurdles there former Serbian record holder in 110 hurdles and he told me that day when I met him in 2008 he said I'll make sure you go somewhere on a scholarship so since then I tried to do my best I didn't compete in 2008 I competed in 2009 didn't do too well didn't make actually I did make a junior team in 2009 um, it was a Balkan championship that was my first competition for the national team I got fourth in 100, 200, and 4 by one so no medal for me. And in 2010, I made the senior team for the European Team Championships, and since then I've been doing well. In 2010, right before I even got an offer to a scholarship to go anywhere in the States, um, I won my junior nationals in 100, 200, and 4 by one with my team. Um, and that year he said, okay, now we have a foundation for something to go with and some leverage to negotiate for you to go somewhere. And he helped me out send about 500 emails um, to all the coaches around the U.S. And uh, most of them came back and said, yeah, you can go or you can't go or we give you this much money or we'll give you that much money. And, there was about 50 schools that were interested, then we narrowed it down to 15, then to 10, to 5, and we looked up what the best climate is, the coaching staff, and all those kind of things, and decided that Asheville would be a great fit for me. And by my third year, I just decided that I should invest um, in my future education, and I wanted to just to go out and meet more people and um, see what other doors can be open for me. So I transferred to UC Berkeley. I ran there for one year. I graduated in 2014. Then I was thinking about doing a master's program, but that was two years prior to the Olympic year. And I started training. I was all in for the Olympic Games, so um, I kind of pushed school away and um, planning on doing it next year, 2018. I wanted to go to the Olympic Games in 2016 and that was my ultimate goal to do that. I had uh, unbelievable support from my family, friends, my girlfriend and my wife now. Um, um, I met her since I, when I came here to school and she has been behind me and pushing me and just the best support I can ask for throughout all the years and um, my coach Joe Williams um, helped me out a lot. So <clears throat> going forward I'm thinking about um, getting on the podium for 2018 European Championships. I got eighth last time in Amsterdam that was last year, no two years ago, 20, that was the Olympic year 2016. I was eighth and um, so I want to be top three and I think I can. 2018 uh, European Championships. Um, after that, uh, 2019, it will be uh, World Championships. Uh, looking forward to that as well. And then 2020, Tokyo Olympic Games.